he told me before we go out there, he said, if, you know, if the ring's that bad, he said, I'll just do a sky high, which is a leg drop off the top rope and be fine. So he's doing a couple of moves. He's, he did a small moonsault and he did a front leg drop. And we're sitting there figuring out the whole time we're, we're talking about the, in the ring, the pad and being bad. And it's, it can't bump here. And I remember specifically looking at him and said, Scorpio, don't do that. Drop the bomb. I said, it's going to just do the leg drop. And I kept, I say that to him a couple of times. So I, he does one move and I set up for him to pick me up and reset me. And he's climbing to the top. So I lay back down and where I'm laying at, my shoulders have padding, but my head is laying on the wood. Mm. Mm. The last thing I remember is him jumping. And from the video, his ass directly lands on my face. I don't remember anything. The <sighs> next thing I remember I vaguely remember sitting up and I said, what happened? And Carino says, you got knocked out. And the verse, the first full thing I remember is I'm sitting in the chair in the back and my wife, she had thrown up from, uh, cause the quick video you see of it is her diving in the ring. And then Carino, you hear Carino say, cut the camera off. And he dives in Ooh. the whole time. I'm a, I'm knocked out. She's screaming at him to do something. They said I was out for between five and ten minutes, more closer to five. The, my lips had started turning purple. Um, Scorpio slapped me, trying to wake me up, and I'm not coming to. Irvin Peacock, who's a ring announcer, you know Irvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He uh, said I was so knocked out that it was almost to the point where I was snoring. That's how bad it was. Mm -hmm. I went to the hospital. They did the CAT scan or the they did an MRI or not an MRI, a CAT scan. Couldn't find any anything wrong. There was no bleeding. You know, there is swelling because they said it's a severe concussion. And you know, Scorpio called me the next day to just make sure I was okay. He apologized again, and I, and I think somebody. That was the first thing I said to Scorpio when I came to was, "We're not doing that at WrestleCade. We're not doing that." Move. <laughs> like the true wrestler, yeah. we've already made the edits. You know, what I'm yeah. saying like just you know, let's call that spot off. Um, you know, twenty again, twenty three years. I've never been knocked out. I've been knocked silly mm -hmm. you know you're getting smacked in the face and you've been knocked i've been knocked silly but i've never been knocked out and i see where the you know with the football players getting the concussions and stuff like that because it that happened happened october 10th and to the day if i start to talking fast and you might can hear it in this interview i can't think of the words mm -hmm. like uh like if i'm talking about a refrigerator sometimes a ref refrigerator will leave my i can't think uh, and it's starting to scare my wife because it happened. I'm sitting there talking. It's almost I've developed a speech and a stutter because I can't think of the words to get out. I know it, but oh. I can't make my brain yeah. process it. Um, for the first two weeks, anytime I would lean over, I'd fall forward. And it just so happened that, that that Thursday after I got knocked out, we left and went to Disney for a four-day vacation. Yeah, I remember. I saw on your Facebook. I was like, well, what was he so, doing? We, we had been planning that for six or seven months. So I said, you I was know like, what? what a good husband. I know. That's exactly right. And the, the trip over there, the the plant the pressure in the plane oh. it was kind of it was kind of messing with me. But mm. I was I was letting them know I was all right. But it was kind of messing with me. But we get on roller coasters and. What are you doing? <laughs> just, just sit out. Like I can't, man. I'm trying to be a trooper for them because of you know everything that's going on. I'm trying to have fun. I mean, we did. We had a blast. We had a good time. But I'd get off a roller coaster, man. I'd be wobbly. And the worst was, we're walking around in Epcot and the Mission Space Ride. It's a space. Uh, uh, you get launched. It's a simulator, mm -hmm. and it's like you're going to Mars. And the, you know the little simulator turns, but it's a very small thing. So. We get in. It's a four seat gimmick, and it's tight. But we only have three people. It's me, Shelly, and Cooper. Well, it's the overhead strap. It pulls down like you're mm -hmm. going upside down. And as soon as that goes down, the doors close, and the console comes towards you to where it's maybe a foot, foot and a half off of you. the The room starts spinning. And I start having a panic attack. I feel like I'm being, I can't breathe. I feel like I'm being buried alive <laughs> to the point, Jake, where I'm, I'm beating on the door with the back of my elbow, screaming at them to open it up. It's scaring Shelly Cooper. I mean, I've never had that bad of a panic attack. I feel like I'm <sighs> suffocating. I'm beating and beating. And they're not coming. Gosh. The ride gets ready to start and I close my eyes and I just start breathing. Just keep saying to myself, it'll be over soon. It's just a simulator. And after about 30 seconds, I calmed right down. 
mm-hmm. but I didn't open my eyes back. I, I, I couldn't get back into it. 